Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are flying again the Phoenix A320. Now this might be very surprising since the A319 and A321 now came out, but and you know as much as I want to fly them and yes I have purchased them, but you will see videos on them. As much as I want to fly them and I haven't got to yet, um, I need to fly the A321 first because well, they said they've changed a few things to make the flight model a little bit more accurate when it comes to landing, takeoff and landing especially. And I just wanted to test it out. Since I have a fresh feeling of what it's like to f to land the Phoenix, which is the biggest problem for me, I'm curious how much better it really got and how much more accurate it is now. And the best way to do that is to test it on the same plane that I've been flying for the past few years. So... You know, I mean, if I were to test it on the A321, I wouldn't, or A319, I wouldn't really get the quite, quite the same response as if I just, you know, do an exact apples to apples comparison. But we're flying the 320. We're flying it from Madrid over to Brussels. This is about a two hour flight. Let me see. Flight plan says 155 airtime. So, yeah, let's go and get the show on the road. All right, you know, the usual stuff. Masters off, most like normal. Weather radar off, predictive winter system off, gear down, wipers off, batteries at least 25 and a half. One, two. Exterior lighting is checked. External power can come on. All right, again, still the same issues. I would have expected them to fix this by now. I guess I have to make my make a report myself. Um, here, they've almost got it correct. Reactive winter detection is should not be there because we don't have anything selected for it i would expect the cat 2 to approach or to be here as well problem is they've somehow they completely messed up the cat 2 system or cat 2 in op system logic it should show up now and then after uh adru alignment it should not show up they kind of reversed that for some reason i don't know i don't know what they did there so apu fire test Looking good. Let's go to the. I can find the key. ATSU. AOC, flight in it. And it's confirmed. Go to data. AC status. This is all checked. Not perfect. I'm going to report some bugs on this as well. Init request. No more Belgium. 222 Alpha. There we go. Plug that in. Okay. Aircraft acceptance. Recall. Check status again. Just like I mentioned, Phoenix import. I'm going to go to ground services and we're going to go ahead and very mass and balance. We're going to request GSX now. So we've got our slot notification. It's all checked. That's yeah, that's good. All right. And then our preliminary load sheet, except also checked. All right, no in-op systems that we need to review necessarily because I know this is going to go away with probably ADRU alignment. Circuit breakers are all checked. Everything looks good there as well. Uh, you know what? I think seated passengers, passengers is not going to work quite right. Um, today because I forgot to recycle them once I re reinstalled some liveries so yeah it might not work perfectly all right preliminary performance determination wow it's a full flight uh, full flight today fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity oh good departure performance three six left dry sync preliminary load, preliminary load sheet we're still going no wind sync as well calculate Laps 158, 55, 55, 57 is checked for now. We're not going to do an intersection because we're pretty much right at the uh, air, uh, the runway. All right, so before walk around procedure, uh, oxygen pressure is checked. Hydraulic quantities are good. Engine oil quantities are sufficient. Flaps up indication degrees. Spoiler disarm. Parking brake set. Air pressure is sufficient, which is good. So let's go ahead and continue with the overhead scan and our first officer should do the walk around.
Yeah, that's not checked. PS, EQTC is correct. Date, also checked. Boarding requested. Alright, let's continue with the MCDU. Alright, five point five, one fifty five. One fifty five is correct, five point five. We could also be correct when we go here, we have two point three, that's fine, that's correct. And this still doesn't work and they haven't quite simulated that yet. I don't think this is correct either. Oh no, this is fine actually now. Hello. Alright, let's see this. Again, like I said, CAT 2. I'm not sure why it shows up after ADRU alignment, it should show up during ADRU alignment or even before. When the IR so when the IRSs are selected off, this is when you should see this. Not after. Some really strange behavior that they're simulating there. 
been like that for since release of the 320 originally, so. Alright, so it is, so it is and airfield data has been obtained. Uh, we could get ADC clearance, 13,000, 2,000, and the SID is checked and set. Runway is confirmed. Fuel on board, 7.8 is checked, and a fuel slip if we needed to re request a fuel slip, and then any uplift that we needed via A cars, but not simulated in this airplane. And, um... Fuel is balanced. Both signs are on. So now we just wait for uh, boarding to complete and then we are ready to continue with the procedure. Okay, so boarding's completed and we already got our load sheet, so <laughs> let's, let's uh, close that. Those are some aliens in there, so <laughs> we're not gonna look at those pink weirdos. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so MCDU, ATSU, you'll see seed messages, load sheet, and we're gonna accept. 61.1, zero fuel weight, 31.2, 7.8. So, all right, so we put that in giving us a takeoff weight about 68.7. Let's go to performance. We're expected to leave here in about 10 minutes, so we're pretty punctual. I think final, I think weather. You know exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna go 1016 and 26 degrees. And we're gonna go with a tailwind, 180 at zero two. Calculate now, it gives us flaps two. Um, I think we should easily get flaps one. The, the, reason, the problem is that we're going to have a lower flex. But it's such a long runway that I don't think that one degree flex is going to do any difference. So we're going to go flaps one with this. And we're going to go with 57. Because flaps two, flaps one to flaps two is a big difference, but one degree flex less is not a big difference. So that's why I'd prefer to choose the uh, flaps one configuration. And again, we're, we have a very long runway. We have plenty of time to get in the air. So that that's no problem with flaps one. 55, 55, 57 stays the same. Perfect. Return, like plan. Since boarding is completed, we'll go and turn on the fuel pumps. And I will do the cockpit preparation checklist. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare for a pushback. We're gonna go to request pushback and departure. Yep, everything's going away. Beacon coming on. The service idle, parking brake is set. Slides will be armed momentarily. All right, nose wheel steering is engaged. So let's go and do the before start checklist. Parking brake is set to take off speeds and thrust. 55, 55, 57, flexing five, seven degrees. Windows closed, beacon on. Before start checklist complete. Two. Demonstrate the safety features of our Airbus A320 aircraft. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our Airbus A320. Please pay attention. Putting one, which was set.
after start checklist, NTI is not required. You can set as is checked. Pitch trim, bent, rotor trim neutral. After start checklist completed. Alright, hand signal given, there it is. You're good to go. So brakes released. Is that on his set? Good. I don't think we're light enough. Press the brakes real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and give it some thrust. You were basically following the Air Europas. Engines are really quiet. Brake check. Pressure zero. Pressure zero. All right. Take off. And flex fifty seven SRS auto thrust blue. Let's climb auto thrust. Back one coming on. And pack two coming on.
Club Zero. Alright, so let's go ahead and plan for our descent. Under 1, 2, 20 degrees. Become status is checked. I've also set up my charts, so let's go ahead and do the landing calculations. I'm going to go to fuel prediction. Should feel on board 2.5 with 61.1 puts us at, puts us at 63.6. All right, that's checked. We use low auto brake, idle reverse, lapse full, auto thrust off. Let's go ahead and plan for the descent. Landing elevation is auto, auto brake low is armed, two gas below, and uh, we're pretty much ready to go on descent to Brussels. So we'll see you once we reach our landing point or approach. Continue. One hundred. Flight slow. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Retard.
So, nope, in my opinion, the landing did not become better. Um, I pulled as back as the stick as I would in the real, in the level D simulator and butter it every time. It doesn't work here. I don't know. But to me, landing does not feel that much better, to be honest. This parking, the boarding requested. Parking checklist, parking brake is set, engines are off, wing lights off, fuel pumps off. Parking checklist completed. I'm not sure what this is. Now it's gone. Passengers the boarding started. Alright, so welcome to Brussels. Like I said, uh, I think I feel like the landing did not change anything. It still does not feel right. Um, I'm gonna do a couple landings to see um, how the judge is playing the best. But I feel like there's just not enough elevator input. I don't know. It's not responding the way I would expect it to. So yeah, I'm gonna continue trying and see if there's anything I can do. Because I will not change sensitivities, that's not the job, that's not my job, that's the job of the uh, fiber wire to do that correctly for me. So, I mean it feels right on takeoff, I think it feels pretty sensitive enough that I would expect the uh, landing to be just as sensitive. So, yeah, I don't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next video until then. With the A319 or even A221. Peace.